Hello, Premier 5 students. On behalf of AMS English Department, I'd like to welcome you today. I'm Mr. Muhammad. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to explain present perfect simple versus present perfect continuous. Today's agenda items are student book, page 13, booklet A, page 20. Let's start. We're going to start with the book first. First, we're going to listen. Page 13. Grammar in use. D. Listen and read along. Then answer the questions. I'm tired. I've been painting all day. Can I help? I like painting. Have you painted anything before? Oh, yes. Oh, no. As you heard in this conversation, he said first, I'm tired. I have been painting all day. This means he started painting in the past and he is still painting. Okay? But he asked his friend, have you painted anything before? That means he did something in the past and finished. Okay? The questions. Number one, is Finn painting now? Great, yes. Number two, has Charlie painted anything before? Great. Yes. So, we'll go to the grammar box. So, learn grammar. Present perfect and present perfect continues. First, use present perfect to say what you have done in your life up to now. For example, I have read books about dodos. I read these books in the past. So this action is completed. Then present perfect continues. Use the present perfect continues to say that you started doing something in the past and you are still doing it now. For example, I have been reading this book for an hour. I'm still reading it. For more examples, wait. Look here. Read the sentences. Which sentences say that the action is still happening? Number one. They have been playing basketball since 3 o'clock. What do you think? Do you think this action is completed or is still happening? Great. It's still happening. Number two. We have read books about mountains and oceans. Do you think it's still happening? No. Number three. I haven't eaten my breakfast. Also, it's not going to be. It's still happening. Number four. Maria and I have been doing our homework for an hour. Do you think? Yeah, it's still happening. Have you been to the new store yet? Mm -mm. I don't think it's still happening. Number six. I have been learning English for four years. Yes, great. This sentence is going to be, is still happening. For more explanation, we'll go to that book. Here, as you can see, there is a schedule to compare between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. First, present perfect simple. The action is usually completed in the past. For example, I have painted the house today. We assume that the work is completed. Okay? But in present perfect continuous, the action may be completed or not. Or we don't know whether it's completed or not. For example, I have been painting the house all morning. We don't know if they have finished painting or not. The focus here, the focus is on their activity and the duration, not the finished or unfinished status of work. Okay? Then, Present perfect is used for short single 
actions. For example, yes, I have closed the car door. But present perfect continuous is used for longer continuous actions. For example, they have been watching TV all day. We may use time phrases like all morning, all afternoon, all evening, all night, all day, and so on. So, and typical time phrases for present perfect can be for plus number. For example, I have lived here for two years since plus time. For example, I have lived here since 2000, 2014. Then, already. For example, he has already left. Still, we use it in negative. He still hasn't left. Okay? Then, yet. In negative and question forms only. For example, he still hasn't left yet. Then, just. It means a few moments ago. For example, he has just left. Then we have ever, never, before, in my life. Say that I did this or I didn't do it in my life before. For example, have you ever been to Scotland? No, I have never been to Scotland before. But in present perfect continuous, uh, typical time phrases, we're going to say four plus number. For example, I have been living here for two years. Then since plus time for example i have been living here since 2014 recently i have been volunteering for a charity recently lately i have been going out with tina lately then we'll answer some exercise check understanding for example here both since or for so in number one, space, seven o'clock. We're going to say, since seven o'clock or for seven o'clock. Yes, it's going to be what? Since. Number two, we met the last time. We're going to say, since the last session. Since the last session or for the last session? Yes, it's going to be since. My birthday is going to be, yeah, since my birthday. Last summer also. Since last summer. But here, 20 minutes, we're going to say, for 20 minutes. A week, we're going to say, for a week. Ages, we're going to say, for ages, and so on. We have finished. I hope you understood everything we explained. Thanks for listening. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Bye for now till we meet in other videos.